Hello everyone, welcome back to our Drupal tutorial series. In today's video, I will show you how to use conditional fields in a Drupal 10 web forms. Conditional fields allows you to create dynamic and interactive forms that adapt to the users. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, understanding conditional fields can take your web forms to the next level. First, we will learn what are the conditional fields. Conditional fields are features in a Drupal web forms that enable you to show or hide certain form elements based on the user's previous selections. This functionality is crucial for creating personalized and streamlined user experience. Let's start by setting basic web form. I have already created the simple form to create the web form. Go to the structure and click on the web forms. So I have created this simple web form. I will show you. Click on build to check the form fields. And in that form, I have added three fields. Meeting type, meeting link and the meeting location. So I will show you how that form looks like. For so that click on view. So this is the form. First field is a meeting type which contains the two radio buttons. First is a virtual and the face to face and after that i have added the two fields next is the meeting link and the meeting location now let's enhance our form by adding the conditional fields imagine we want to show meeting link this field when we select the meeting type as a virtual and if same way if we select the face to face field that time it should show the meeting location so like if the meeting is virtual that time we will show the meeting link and if the meeting type is a face to face that time we will show the meeting location field. So now let's customize that field by adding the conditional fields. First we will configure the this meeting link field for that click on the edit. Before that I will show you the this form by refreshing. Right now here you can see the all fields are visible. Now we will configure this field. For that click on this edit button and it will open this options. In that option click on the conditions. From the state field select the visibility as a visible. And in element keep it as a all. After that select the on which fields we want to display that field. So I will display that field on clicking of the meeting type radios. So this is the meeting type. In the next select when the value is so it will auto populate the value which we have defined in the radio. So I want to show the meeting link when the radio button's value is virtual. In this way we have set the conditions for the meeting link field. Now save it. So here you can see under the conditional the condition is added as a visible. Same way we will add the condition for this meeting locations for that click on edit button. Uh, click on the condition tab. In the state select the visibility as a visible. And again we want to display that field on the basis of the meeting type radios value. If the meeting type value is face to face that time we want to show the meeting location field. Save these conditions. You can save the elements. After that, go to the form, refresh the page. Now you will see that these fields are not visible. So first, I will click on the virtual. On clicking of that, it is showing me the meeting link. And if I click on this face-to-face -face radio, that time it will show the meeting location field. For the virtual meeting link, I take this field as a link. So if I try to submit this data, it will show the meeting link does not contain a valid URL. Now I will select the meeting type as a face to face. It will show us the meeting location field. So this is the normal text field. As now you become more comfortable with the conditional fields, you can explore the advanced Features such as dependencies between multiple fields using AND or conditions and even incorporating custom JavaScript for more complex scenarios. In conclusion, 
Conditional fields in a Drupal web form opens up a world of possibilities for creating interactive and uh, user-centric forms. Whether you are building a simple contact form or a complex survey form, understanding and implementing conditional fields will elevate your Drupal web form. So that's it from this video. I hope this video is useful for you. Please like the video and subscribe the channel for more Drupal related content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.